Welcome to the Florist Age Podcast, a place where we help you create a life you're excited about. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another Walk and Talk episode. Today, we are going to talk about something that I think is so important for everyone listening and then some. In our hyper stylized and hyper curated world that we live in, I think it's really important for us to recognize that done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. I know that's a cliche, but cliches are cliche for a reason. (laughs) I cannot tell you how many times people have come to me, whether for single sessions or single readings or just brand new clients, and they're like, ugh, Flora, I feel so overwhelmed because... Like, I have to keep up with the Joneses, or if I want to post something on Instagram, I got to make sure that it looks a certain way or whatever. Or if they're not on social feeds for business or whatever, they're just like, oh, I just feel like I have so much missing from my life. And then when I, I dig deeper and ask them about it, they're just like, oh, well, so-and-so is always going on vacation, and so-and-so always seems to have such a perfect life. And, and they're comparing all of these things all of what you see out in the world on social media and the landscape of the internet to real life that they feel like that they're falling short. And I actually talk about this in my book where so many people are waiting for their life to happen and for you know their, their life to look like what other people's looks like. And I'm here to tell you, and you guys have heard this a million times, Social media is just a highlight reel. It's not, it's not, it's not, you know, waking up in the morning with bad breath and your hair is all disheveled and it's not cleaning up crap all over the house because your dog had diarrhea, (laughs) you know? I mean, you don't see that. And if you do see that, Someone's in the thick of it and they're like, oh my God, I'm totally going to show this because this is going to make me more relatable and yada, 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 whatever. And it's like, it's so easy for us to feel like if we don't do it perfectly, if we don't do this perfectly and that perfectly and say this and do that and dress this way and eat this and eat that, then we just end up not doing anything because we're just so exhausted. I actually had another client um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, we were talking about weight loss because she wants to lose some weight. And in the past, she's lost weight with keto. And so she's like, you know, talking with me about doing the keto diet, blah, blah, blah. And and she loves bread. And she's like, oh, I'm just afraid, blah, blah, blah. and, And all these things. And she was, it sounded, she just sounded exhausted. She just sounded exhausted thinking about this new diet she wants to go on. And finally, I just said to her, I'm just like, "Um, what about not doing any diet? What about not doing keto, not doing paleo, not doing Mediterranean, not doing Whole30? What about, and, and what would it feel like for you if you just stopped eating the foods that make you feel like shit? and eat more foods that make you feel good. How would that feel? And she's like, oh, (laughs) well, that would be really easy. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, so what's stopping you from doing that? And she's like, God, I, I don't know. I, nothing is stopping me from doing that but myself. So because I keep having this conversation over and over and over again, I really wanted to make a podcast about it because done is better than perfect, okay? And perfection truly is in the eye of the beholder, you know? And so if you think, oh, I can't go on a diet until I have all the junk food out of my house or until... I'm committed to not eating bread or until yada, 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 or I can't do this until this is right and and perfect. 
just try it. Just recognize that there's no such thing as perfection. There's no such thing as that perfect life. There's no such thing as the perfect diet for all these people. I mean, the perfect diet, honestly, is what do you like to eat? What makes you feel good? And eat that. Boom, that's it. And that's going to change. As you age, as you change phases of your life, you're going to require different food, different fuels for your body. If you're in a space or state of high energy, like you're moving or you're focusing on this or that, you're going to need different nutrition. Versus if you're in a state or space of kind of just, you know, maintaining the status quo, you're not moving. I mean, moving requires a shit ton of energy. Oh my God, if you've ever moved, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you need a lot of rest, a lot of water, whew, and a lot of food because you're fueling all of that moving. But if you're not moving, you're, you know, like you get up and you, you, you have your smoothie or your green juice or your coffee or your water, or your orange juice or your protein shake or whatever that is, and you make breakfast and you drive to work, you don't need all that extra, extra energy. But the thing is, and like I said, there's like so much confusion. Well, what should I eat? Should I have this or should I have that? Should I not have that? Is fruit going to make me fat? <laughs> I was, I was overhearing this conversation the other day when I was at this restaurant and they had this huge debate on whether or not they can eat fruit and what time to eat fruit. And well, I, if, if, if I eat an apple at 10 a.m., or I'm sorry, you know, like 10 p.m., that's going to make me fat. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, we have complicated the easiest things. It's a piece of, it's an apple. It is an apple. And yes, some people... Can't tolerate apples if you have FODMAPs, whatever. That's a totally different conversation. But stop, 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 stop. Stop making everything so hard. Stop making everything so convoluted and so complicated. I encourage you over the next week or so to focus on done versus perfect. So what does that mean? Do you want to eat healthier today? Okay, cool. What's an unhealthy food that you deem unhealthy for you that you don't really feel good after you eat it? What's an unhealthy food for you? Let's just say that it is bread. Okay, don't eat bread today. Or if you eat bread, maybe eat one piece in the morning so that you have all day to burn off that piece of bread. Okay, try that. And then at the end of the day, you're like, wow, I feel pretty good. I had my one piece of bread with my breakfast. I had eggs and coffee and a piece of fruit and a piece of my favorite bread. So you were able to enjoy that favorite piece of toast or bread. And the rest of the day, you felt good because you made other choices that still made you feel good. So at the end of the day, you, you finished a quote-unquote diet or an, a way of eating that supported you. And maybe after doing this for two weeks, you're just like, wow, you know what? I feel really good. I cut out bread in the afternoon and the evening. I eat it in the morning. I literally can have my cake and eat it too. I am so freaking excited. And maybe I lost five pounds to boot after two weeks. Who knows? You don't have to go big or go home. This whole channel... Everything that I do, it's all about creating and making a one degree shift. That's it. If you feel like shit in your body, ask yourself, what part of my body feels like shit? <laughs> Is it your joints? Is it your midsection? Is it your mental health? Are you tired? Like, lean into it and ask yourself. And then from there, make tiny adjustments. You are such an intuitive being, like all of us on this planet our intuitive creatures. We all have intuition. Let your intuition in to help you out and begin trusting it and ask yourself, what's one thing that I can do today that will help me feel better? And you're going to get an answer. You will get an answer. And it might be, go to bed earlier. 
or set the phone down and go outside and go for a walk or have more water. And these one, the one tiny little shift, that one tiny little thing that comes to you, trust it. Trust that your high self, that your intuition knows. Just trust. And know that done is better than perfect. You don't have to mirror the people that you follow. You don't have to compare yourself. Um, I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt that said, comparison is the thief of joy. And that is so true. (laughs) It is so true. So today and over the next couple of weeks, give yourself permission to begin having and creating little one degree shifts in your life and say, what's one thing? Well, first of all, figure out what's one thing that you want to have better in your life or that you want to have it feel more in alignment in your life. And then ask yourself, what's one thing that I can do? What's one thing that I can do to feel better in my body? What's one thing that I can do to get better sleep? I love chocolate milk, okay? I love chocolate milk. I have almond milk. And then the Hershey's Simply Five, which is this sugar-based drink mix. It's not like with the whole high fructose corn syrup thing. I love it. And I love like dark chocolate. So I don't just put like a regular amount in. I put a lot in. (laughs) Or at least I used to. One of the things I noticed is any night that I had chocolate milk, I didn't sleep well. I mean, I don't sleep well in any case just because I have tinnitus and I've got chronic pain, which is a whole a whole other topic for a whole other episode. But in any case, sleep has always been a challenge for me. And when I would drink the chocolate milk, I would, I would sleep even more worse. I would be like, oh shit, more worse, <laughs> worse or whatever. I would just sleep like shit. So I'd be tossing and turning and I would just, I would have like the whole restless leg thing and I'm just like, well, maybe it's the chocolate milk. So I cut out the chocolate milk at night and actually all together and I don't have that sugar jittery energy at night. So trust yourself when you ask, what's one thing that I can do today? And I know it seems so insignificant. So insignificant, one thing, like really? Yes, really, one thing can and will change your life. This is why I literally have built my entire business on this, and this is like the main thing that I'm teaching. Now, some of you might be like, well, Flora, you're doing the whole decluttering thing. Yeah, because clutter clogs up your decision-making abilities. Clutter is what stands in the way of you being able to commit to that one degree shift, seriously. That's why I'm so passionate about sharing all the decluttering stuff because once you clear out all your crap, you have no more excuses. You have nothing stopping you. You have nothing stopping you. So I say all that to say this. Commit to asking yourself the one question. What's one thing that I can do to, and then fill in the blank, to sleep better, to feel better in my body, to have a better relationship, to have a fatter bank account, to have less debt, to have a cleaner house, to whatever. Whatever that thing is that you desire to have in your life. And that one thing is gonna come from your intuition. I encourage you to trust it. Trust what you're getting. And then when you get that little one degree shift message, Like, oh, hey, do this. Just do it (laughs) and recognize, say it with me, that done is better than perfect. Okay? Ah, I love it. All right. I love you guys. I hope this serves you. Um, I'm excited. I did a poll, or actually not a poll. I did a QA and a on my Instagram feed a few days ago and asked what topics y'all would like from me. And I got some really amazing suggestions. Oh my goodness. I'm so freaking pumped over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to share those topics with you guys. So if you have something that you'd like to see me cover and you'd like to know my opinion about it and all that jazz, go ahead and email support at floresage.com. 
and in the subject line put podcast topic suggestion and I would love, 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 love to hear your podcast suggestions because like I said, I was so excited when everybody's like, oh my gosh, yes, talk about this and talk about that and I'd love to know what you think about this and I'd love to know what you think about that and I am all about that, oh my gosh, because if you've been a part of my community, you know that I share my, my viewpoint and that gets that conversation going and it allows for so many aha moments. So, I love you. I hope this serves you today, and I will see you in the next episode. Also, if you've been loving these episodes, it would mean the world to me if you would rate this podcast on iTunes. A five-star rating is what I always aim for. Thank you for listening to today's podcast episode. All links mentioned are in today's show notes.